want to do this. But I pulled the magic Wookiee out of the box. And so I have to do this. I don't even have any eggnog to drink in this video. So what am I going to drink? What other beverage can be associated with Christmas that I can drink? Good enough, I guess. So, the Star Wars Holiday Special has become infamous. And then the annals, annals, whatever you're going to call it, of the Star Wars universe. Released in November of 1978 on the heels of the original Star Wars film. George Lucas produced a Star Wars holiday special for CBS. Which brought back the stars of the film, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, Peter Mayhew, Anthony Daniels, and if you listen to the credits, R2-D2 is R2-D2. And James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader over stock footage from the lead scenes from Star Wars. With special appearances from B. Arthur, Harvey Corman, Art Carney, and Jefferson Starship, because Starship is in the name. So when you think of Star Wars Holiday Special, what do you think? You think it's going to be something along the lines of, and this is going to take place during some holiday, which it does. But it's going to feature our heroes fighting off the Empire, trying to save the day on this holiday so that they can celebrate it. Well, to quote Kevin Spacey as uh, Lex Luthor, WRONG! It's not what it is at all. What we have is a variety show in the disguise. Of a Star Wars special. With little cameos and glimpses of our favorite characters. What it really is. Is Han Solo and Chewbacca. Are flying through space. Escaping stock footage. From Star Wars. A New Hope. Trying to escape the stock footage anyway. On the way. To the planet Kashyyyk. Or Kashuk. Whatever they want to pronounce it here. Kashyyyk. Whatever. Kushak or whatever. So that Chewie can celebrate Life Day with his family who has never previously mentioned, never mentioned again. His family, I might add, which consists of his wife, Mala, his father, Ichi, and his son, Lumpy. <clears throat> and though I don't mean Tom Phillips from WWE. And, uh, yeah, and so most of the special is surrounded this family. One problem with that is, is that they speak in Wookiee with no subtitles and mostly no human characters to translate for them. So all we get through most of the special is excuse me, through the entire special. Don't worry, because we have a story, sort of. You see, they're worried that Chewbacca hasn't come back yet. So they're going to create cameos from original cast members, like contacting Luke Skywalker, who's working on his engine with R2-D2. Uh, and it's a quick cameo. He's like, oh, I'm sure Han knows what he's doing, you know. And then we have... Uh, Carrie Fisher, may she rest in peace, as, uh, the Slayer. By the way, Luke Skywalker's hair in this, Mark, they did not try at all to get Mark Hamill's hair to look like it did in the first one. It looks, it looks like he, I don't know, it's very, very blonde, very, very blonde. And 
He's, you know, Mark Hamill seems like the only one who's really legitimately, you know, he probably doesn't want to be there, but he's he's giving it his all, whereas Harrison Ford couldn't give two craps, couldn't give two shits about this. And <laughs> Carrie Fisher, God rest her soul, man. There, there's a scene where she and C-3PO standing there and they're talking to Mala, and C-3PO is translating and uh, what was it that she said? Like, uh, like she's really worried for them or something. And Carrie Fisher has this look on his face, on her face, as if to say, "Yeah, I get that. I can tell." Just like that she had, and it made me laugh my ass off because she's just like he, he repeats, you know, in English what she said, and she just like like she could tell from the way that. The Wookiee was acting, that's what it was, but then she's like, like, she doesn't say anything, she just does that, it's just funny. And during this special, besides the cameos, we also have little skits, like Lumpy playing with this little music thing, and it goes on forever. Itchy, that's the grandpa. Oh, grandpa, Wookie, watching porn. And you can try to tell me it's something else, but it's porn. It's softcore porn. Got this lady on there, and she's asking, does it feel good for you? It's porn. We also have a performance from Jefferson Starship, and let me tell you, there are two things that I actually enjoyed in this. Well, three. The end. You know, when it ended, I really enjoyed that. When it was over and it was just done, I really enjoyed that. But, also, I liked the Jefferson Starship performance. I thought it was pretty good. And the cartoon that they play, I enjoyed it, even though Han Solo looks like a fish or something. He's just like, I don't know what they, what they did with him and, like... Luke Skywalker's eyes will like they're after my soul or something. Excuse me. I wish this was a beer. Although I wouldn't be able to drink it on camera, but you know, I probably would have had like four or five of them before I did the video. But you know. But it's the same animators that did the Wookiee cartoon and the uh, droid cartoon. And so, there's also a skit where Mama is cooking dinner, and you have her, it's Harvey Corman dressed as a black woman, doing the stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir, stir, whip. As the wig starts to unravel from his head, he just keeps going. He, she, whatever. There's also, you know, Harvey Corman's in this three different times. He's there. He also shows up later as a droid repair unit in a video and as a man with a volcano on his head during a, a sketch where they're at the Moss Eisley Cantina and B. Arthur sings a song because it's B. Arthur and it's the 70s. And... And they wish this was alcohol. I'm just saying. Use the force. I don't know. Also, this cartoon they played is the first instance to debut of sorts of Boba Fett. You know. So how do we end this special? Well, throughout the special, the story thread is that the, the Empire is looking for Han Solo and Chewie. And uh, another one of the best parts of this is Art Carney because God bless his soul. He's giving it his all, too. You know, he's, he's funny. Some of the best parts are him. Just being funny, you know. But he leaves partway through. But then we get Han Solo and Chewie finally arrives at the end. No, unfortunately not. Uh, but they thwart the Empire, and then they're able to go celebrate Life Day. Han Solo says goodbye, only to then show up again at the Life Day ceremony. Along with Luke and Leia and... The droids. So how do we end this? We see a little ceremony thing with the, with the 
Well, he's marching into a giant light in space, which I don't know. And we end with Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher, singing a song about Light Day. And it's at this exact moment, actually, no, it was at the moment when uh, um, <clears throat> Lumpy was watching that dad's thing that I wanted to shoot myself. I was ready to jump out a window by this point. I said I gotta stay the course. I gotta watch this because I gotta do a review because I promised my viewers I would do it. So this is your fault if I get any, you know, more brain damage. Uh, let me end with that. But that's not how it ends. No, because they have the gall to end this with Chewbacca having memories. That's what it looks like. And all it is, it's little clips with music played over them of the first Star Wars movie. Of Star Wars New Hope, whatever you want to call it. Just little clips. That's what it is. That's it. Because they didn't know how to end this thing. You know? And then it, it's over. It's over. It's ended. And this thing, without commercials, was an hour and a half. A little over an hour and a half. With commercials, it's two hours long. They made a two-hour special. Okay, let's put this. In 2020, to do a two-hour Star Wars special would be something, you know, you could expect. In 1978, the movie just came out a year earlier. Why would you invest all your money into a two-hour special of something that I know was popular, but it just came out? Why would you want to capitalize that quick on something like that? I mean, you, they hadn't even, you know, thought about doing, uh... The Empire Strikes Back yet. And they were doing a Christmas special. Holiday special. Whatever. It came out in November. Just in time for Thanksgiving, by the way. And how bad is this special? Well, it's so bad that George Lucas said himself that if he had a sledgehammer, he would hunt down... That he would, If he had enough, you know, he would hunt down, if he could, hunt down, take a sledgehammer and hunt down every copy of this special and destroy it. It has never been re-aired, never been re-released. You have to watch it on YouTube. There's a version with commercials, version without. I recommend the version without. It's a lot shorter. That's the one I watched. Uh, if you, I don't recommend you watch this at all, but if you want to see how stupid this thing is, I am a big Star Wars fan, and even I avoided this thing. As soon as I found out about this a year and a half, two years ago, before I started my channel, right? And I told myself, I'm going to avoid this thing and never watch it. But, you know, last year it came up and I'm just like, no, I'm not even going to try. Because I don't even know if there's a way to watch it. Well, this year my dumbass searched it on YouTube. And since I, I said, if I found it, if it's on YouTube, I will watch it. And God damn it, I found it. So I screwed myself over. So here I am. But the good thing is, because it's a TV special, I ain't got to give it a rating. I am going to tell you, don't watch this. Even if you're curious, do not seek this out. It's on YouTube. Uh, if you are going to watch it, which I don't recommend, watch the non-commercial version. Although, some of you, you know, um, you might be uh, interested in what the commercials are. You don't really need to watch the commercial version to do that. You gotta, what you gotta do, you gotta go over to uh, Stone Gremlin Productions YouTube channel. Cinema Snob has a video where he looks at the uh, Christmas special. There's one for the Christmas special. There's also one he does where he just looks at the commercials. You wanna see the commercials? Without having to watch the special, check out that video because I did. You know, and I also watched his review for the special. But yeah, this was horrendous. Best things about this special I will give out Art Carney, may he rest in peace, the cartoon, and Jefferson Starship. That's it. Only good things. Three good things out of this. Other than that, shit. 
Well, I'm at school. I gotta finish my uh, beverage here, and uh, I gotta close up the Christmas shop. Uh, uh, this is airing Christmas evening ish. So, a Merry Christmas to all of you out there who are watching this. Um, I'm done with my Christmas videos for this year. I will go back to my Disney videos after this. Uh, I may record one Disney video on the Friday uh, before, because Saturday I might be busy. So, you, you'll get a, you might get a video on Saturday, depending on if I remember or decide I'm not going to be lazy on Christmas. And just, you know, watch Christmas movies. Go die hard. But, uh, yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you think of the Star Wars Holiday Special. If you've watched it, please don't. If you haven't watched it, if you've watched it, I feel sorry for you. If you haven't watched it, please don't. It's not worth it. It gets a great, it gets a funny review out of it, I guess, but other than that, no. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. May the Force be with you. And if you've seen this, Special, like me, may God have mercy on your soul. Have a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. I still wish this was alcohol. <laughs>